Hey Byron, how are you doing? Hey man, how are you doing for I? I am great man, it's good to have you here. Nah, pleasure to be here, pleasure. Yeah, so we're going to talk about a lot of things. Um, the biggest I think being Project Kickflip. Mm -hmm. But we have to lead up to that, right? People mm. have to understand, okay, like, who is Byron? What does he do? Mm. Um, my understanding is you're a photographer, you're a videographer. Um, how would you describe yourself? Well, first and foremost, yeah. I'm Flickr. That's the name I go by. And I'll, I'll describe myself as a photographer mainly. Yeah. But I specialize in other skills as well. Don't want to limit myself. Right, fair mm. enough. <laughs> a lot of creatives say that. Like creatives really don't like those, um, those boxes, right? They just be like photographer only. <laughs> nah, they don't. They don't. You know, because I used to, I, I used to just limit myself and yeah. say I'm just a photographer, you know. But I think over the years uh, I've been opened into doing other things yeah and i've stepped out you know it's one of those you, you know when you're in your comfort zone and then <laughs> you then want to step out of it you're like ah. i'm a photographer yeah <laughs> but now i've stepped out i've stepped out of my comfort zone i'm now out there you know doing yeah. different things yeah mm. so as let's let's maybe speak to the photography first mm -hmm. right um you're like mostly behind the lens yeah um, when you hold a camera, what story are you trying to tell? So, firstly, it's the environment. It depends, you know, uh, the type of environment that I am. And I would say the, you know, the scenes that I'm always at 100% of the time is the social scene, you know. Yeah. We, it's always, you know, people, may, may, mainly like, you know, our ages, you know, they're out, living their best life. Yeah. And yeah. I feel as if, if you kind of look at it, I'm not sure if, you know, your grandparents or your parents, you know, ever tell you about their social lives. Because uh, I know my mom is always telling me how, you know, her and my dad always used to do things or whatnot. It would be nice if I could actually have seen a picture. Of like, oh, okay, okay. Facts, actually. <laughs> uh, or a video. So, yeah. I mainly, not most people know that, but I try to capture that type of thing where if it's someone who, if it's a group picture, you know, someone... They're holding their drinks, you know, ch big cheers. Yeah. It's it's a big moment, you know, where you can tell your, your you know, your future kids like what or your grandkids. Would this mean 15, yeah. 20, 30 yeah. years from now? We, it's like, yo, you know, this was us back in the day, you know, we did this, we started this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's, that's basically what I try to tell, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a very firm believer that, you know, like the future is like everything yeah. and whatever you do now, it's going to impact how it, how it is back then. And it's also important that, you know, the people who are going to be around you, you know, in the coming future, it's important how they see how you did things or whatnot. Because yeah. not, not, you know, not everything, I always say, not everything is, uh, it's, it's not everything is sweet. Yeah. Because, right. yeah, you know how we see all these <laughs> billionaires or whatnot, and you're like, okay, you know, this guy made his money. And, but there's another but, side. But yeah, there's another side he had before. You know, he that. got to that type of level. Coming back, because one thing that I'm always like uh, interested in understanding uh, with people is like how they come to like actualize it themselves, but also like where that began. So with you, like, where did your fascination with like photography and visual storytelling like begin? It's actually like a very typical funny story yeah <laughs> um i would say it was back in 2016 yeah. late 2016 um around about the time you know instagram was now like popping and i was just like oh like this is cool you know i wanna i wanna take pictures like these yeah. i wanna just post them on the gram you know just <laughs> just so that people ah, no that's cool dude that's the know? guy <laughs> and there was a camera at home uh nikon d3000 uh my mom got it Mm. But it was just like there, you know. No one was using No one it. was collecting dust. And I just asked my mom, you know, can I use them? I was like, sure, use it. Do whatever you want it. <laughs> and I think, I'm not sure if I still have, I'm not sure in the archives if I still have my, I think I do. I still have my first picture. Yo, we, I, need, I need to see that nah, if it's I'm possible. Now I would definitely need to show you, but um, I think it was a picture. I put the camera on the ground, set the timer. Yeah. And then I put my hands 
and then it was focusing mainly like on the ground because there was like you know that green moss yeah yeah that's why i put my hands and then in the background you could see like towards like the driveway towards the gate it was all blurry but to, that was my very first picture yeah and the build up to that was now i was just taking pictures randomly so me and my me and my brother bradley um we were just you know using that camera and it was just one of, i didn't even know what adobe like the adobe <laughs> software was yeah. it was just taking onto my phone oh dude, this is a nice filter yeah 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 you know especially filters it, yeah because yeah. i remember when when people used to use the filters within ig like exactly retro and stuff exactly, like that exactly <laughs> exactly those you know that's that's that, that's the level we were at at the time yeah uh, yeah and i'll say it slowly it slowly built up we i'll say 2017 uh december time i, yeah. I went to south africa for a holiday and it was uh went to mpumalanga yeah. you know like a family holiday thing and my brother my older brother anthony uh we like we like to explore yeah so you know whilst most people were in the like crib you know just chilling we were out there yeah. and I had my camera snapping 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 and we posted on the gram you know and people like people were like whoa like this is cool what 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 what, what, what? people are feeling yeah. it yeah <laughs> and my brother was like dude why don't you just start an insta like a photography page yeah i was like you know, do I really have to do it? He's like, nah, just do it. Bro. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And I distinctively remember I just created the page, right? Yeah. Called it uh, Flickr Photography. Also, it was Flickr from like yeah, day it, one. It was Flickr from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I remember putting in the bio, I was like, yo, the first hundred people to follow my page, right? I'm going to post. And I'm so I'm, I'm I'm very grateful to have you know like people around me who like actually love what I do. Yeah. That they instantly follow. I think in the matter of four days, I had you that hundred followers. Hand. And I posted my first. That was my first picture with the hands that I posted. Yeah. And yeah, from then on, it just it's, just, it's I've I've been at it ever since. That's dope, man. Yeah. Like <laughs> that sounds like so. I think I think natural is the word I would use. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like so unforced man like so so it was so just nice. it was just like a smooth thing you yeah. know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and so let's talk about the name yeah because because mm. that's interesting to me where you say like it was Flickr from day one mm. like what does that name does that name mean anything or it was like the first name that came to you and you ran with it so initially um I'm 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 a very big fan of uh, Nasty C. Yeah. And there's a song that he did. Um, it's called Switch Up. I haven't listened to it in like a long time yeah. now, but I'm not sure if it's like early days. Yeah, Nasty. early yeah. days. Nasty C <laughs> like, when it was think, popping. Is it not like 2015, 16 time? Yeah, I think 2015. That's when it dropped. Yeah. But I used to listen to that song <laughs> religiously. Yeah. Right. And then he meant I'm not I'm forgetting the bar, but he mentioned something about I'm not the guy that you can always flicker. Right. And basically, ah. the word flicker stems from what, like you know, like like a flash. Like yeah, the yeah, 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 exactly. So I initially started calling myself on Instagram the guy that always flickers, right? And you know how when you create, you know, we just used to create these crazy names for and ourselves. And they stick. <laughs> and they stick. And then people just start calling me flicker. And then that's where now today present it's spelled F L C K R. Yeah, flicker. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's literally my that's household name out. you know it's become such a household name even my mom calls herself <laughs> the mom that always flickers you know so it's, it's, it's it stems and yeah i just you know basically ran with it yeah and i would say it's 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 some it's now a part of me you know i can't just decide to start telling people i know just call me you know, Byron Byron. The photog- you know like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 i hear that man you touched on two things that mm. really interested me right, right there uh, i'm getting from that story i'm getting hints that you know um your family has been like very supportive of your craft is that like a fair assumption for me to make yeah it is it is my family is it's a, they're very supportive in what i do and it's not all peaches and roses you know in the beginning it was quite difficult for some to basically 
come to understand you know, what it, I do. Yeah. And I and I, I I can also at the time I was it's it's I was also, you know, young, I was confused. I didn't know what I, what I wanted to do, you know. Because yeah. I was going to business school and you know you know how it is, it's typical, you have to go to uni, yeah, get a degree, exactly. whatever. <laughs> and I remember having the discussion with my mom and she was just like, Okay, what do you wanna actually do? And I told her, I'm gonna take photos. Yeah. She's like, Okay, um, let's make a deal. You know What was the deal? <laughs> the deal is, you know, I pass. I finished the business school side of things and whatever knowledge I gained from business school, I applied. You applied to the... And that's the deal we made. And I can safely say I stuck to it. Yeah. And <laughs> it's just been small influences, you know, because I can even tell people like, you know, my grandfather, yeah. um, I can, you know, phone him, we talk. And he's always asking, like, you know, how's, how's, how's the photography thing going? Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's going okay. And... It's nice to know that it, it's certain individuals like yeah. support me. Even I, I'm not. I'm not even saying like uh, I've never been a, a person who's like no. Like I need money to support my thing. Yeah. Like but literally, just that, literally, just, just like word of mouth. <laughs> like, hey man, just keep doing what you're doing. It's gonna work out. It's, you see, it's so meaningful. It's, it's it goes a long way. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. Yeah. That's true. And and the thing with. Um, with familiar support, the thing um, I've seen and, and and I've talked to a lot of people, man. I've been I've been in media for five years, right? Mm. Is um, usually uh, people are already trying to do like difficult things. So in mm. your case, it's essentially turning a, a passion into maybe a career or a business that sustains yeah. you, right? And so you already have a lot of stress, mm -hmm. and you don't want them no, yeah, to be don't. dealing with so much contention at home as well. You know, mm. it's like that's. Just that becomes another thing to worry about at a time where you're like trying to figure out if you can even uh, build this thing into into something sustainable. Mm -hmm. So you're self-taught, right? And mm -hmm. that's always fascinating to me because there's always a gap between when you start teaching yourself and when the world starts to actually like understand that Byron Flicker is a photographer, right? Mm. Um, so. How long did it go from you being fascinated and just putting in hours to people actually like wanting to hire you and being like, hey man, I will pay you to take photos? I think at first, um, obviously, you know, I was just taking for myself. Yeah. And my brother Brad as well. We we're just, you know, doing our own thing. Yeah. And when I went to SA to go visit my cousins, it was also, yeah, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> uh, but I would say. 2018 yeah. towards uh, there because uh, yeah a, I think it was not like a break um, that's when round about the time uh, I I was involved with the domain yeah with uh, Rowan and you know we were like these young kids like he came up to me I was like yo bro how about we you know I'm trying to start this thing yeah and I want you involved and yeah, it was at the time Sun. Yeah. Sun was called Union, Union Five. Five. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. It's called history. Union Five. So I mean, I made I, I, I made him before he even blew up on it. You know, at time I don't even call him like Union Five. You know, I call him by his proper proper, <laughs> proper name. name. Yeah. <laughs> and I met uh, Tippy, uh, which is uh, Sun's producer. Yeah. And then there was Brad, my brother, me, Rowan. Um, then there was another guy, uh, his name is Obi Mook. Uh, yeah, I think I've... Yeah, he's, he's, I've he's into gymming now. On, yeah. on, on Insta or something Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, I he's think. into gymming and all of that now. And... Yeah, there was another guy who made, like... I'm not sure if he made music, but he... he there's something along the line, his name is yeah. Cash. Not sure where he is now in life. Yeah. But yeah, it was like the seven of us. And... The first... My first ever event was old, this other event called Ultra Chills. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, people, you know, paint for tickets, what, what, what. I came with my camera. Yeah. And I can, I can actually establish that's like my, that was like my first ever party to go to. 
you know, ah. with my brother. <laughs> yeah. So, cause you know, I was quite, I was quite restricted at home from like going out or whatnot. But you know, yeah. as you grow older, yeah. you then like, and it's also kind of work at the same exactly, time. Exactly. So easier. To exactly. <laughs> but like, I, I was, I was there, you know, to have fun, you know. I, but I just took my camera with yeah. me, and I just started snapping people, you know. And people just, you know, most people were quite skeptical. Some thought, mm. ah, so it's from H Metro or something. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 you know, I'm taking, you know, some were refusing, you know, some were telling me, oh, no, I've got an iPhone. Like, I'm like, no, it's okay. Do Fair you enough. Think, do you think? Do you think? Yeah. But yeah, naturally, that was my first day of an event. And balancing it after that, when the pictures came out, like, they were being posted everywhere. And these were like fire pictures. Like these were like fire pictures, you know. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even do anything to them, you know. And I remember the way I used to edit back then, you know, put yeah. them on my phone, filter, 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 and then out they yeah. give them out. And a lot of people loved them. Even till today, like I think it was last week, yeah. um one of my best friends friends, he was like, Yo, you're flicker I'm like, Yeah, yeah. He was like, Bro, I still have your pictures from Ultra Chills. I'm like, Man, how long is that, dude? <laughs> How long? Like, like half a decade ago. I was just like, I, I probably still have them somewhere there in the archives, but yeah, man, it's such a long time. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. <laughs> and then, so the second thing I was going to touch on was, mm. you did go to business school. Mm. Um, what are the things that you maybe took from there that are now like in the Flickr photography business? I'd say... Um, like okay, but I I never really had like a mentor from it. Yeah. Um, and most of the advice I would get, you know, it's uh, from my mom. But you know, it's, you you know when you get advice and it's like so it's limited. It's yeah. not expanded. Yeah. So most things I had to basically navigate by myself to see okay. Um, with what I took from business school is basically studying competition, and. You know, you can basically, I can give you an example, you know, yeah. if you kind of, you know, we have the car industry, yeah. we've got all yeah, these yeah. different car brands, but what, you you can argue that no, um, Bentley is number one because their cars are the most expensive, yeah. but then I'm like, ah, but do Toyota time time, you know, they're the most they're expensive like because what people yeah. are buying a lot of their stock, Yeah. you see, that is, that's the argument we can have, but what mainly stems to competition, and I started looking, I'm like, okay, there's this person. They're doing this. Yeah. They're doing this. And I remember I started getting serious around when I was now like 18. And no lie, I'd would message, I'd message, I'd message these guys. I'd just be like, yo, how, mu- how much do you charge? I actually want to shoot. Oh, ah, okay, no, this much for this hour. Well, I'm like, ah, okay. And then yeah. I probably sat down and I was like, okay, so if I charge this amount, right? I can what make some profit for myself, <laughs> you know. I can get it. <laughs> I can get something, yeah. and yeah, I've obviously you know I had to start at the bottom of the barrel, you know. That's how it is. Because when you're not, when most people don't know you, I would yeah. even offer them like, oh, I'll, I'll do it for free. Yeah, you know. Also, you shot some for free. I many times. Can I ask you something? Uh, mm. With with those kind of shoots, what would be the approach? Would it be like, I'm going to approach maybe a more reputable person so that maybe they like it and share? Or like, what was your thinking then? So, that's, I, I, I ne- I nev- I've, I've never actually done that where I yeah. would approach someone who's like quite known. Yeah. I would have like an idea of some sort and I'll just be like, yo, let me take some pictures of you. Uh, then post them out, but just make sure you tag me. Yeah. And it's, 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 I think, uh, when we met at that seminar, remember, yeah. what? I know you then, you then left. I remember you, the, it was after lunch. Yeah, they, I left, yeah. I left just after yeah, lunch. Yeah. They were talking about, um, how if you do something for free, you want payment back in exposure. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. But to those, to those who, if someone watches this and if they were there, they were like, nah, bro, they were not, they mentioned exposure turning it into value yeah so instead of me going to someone who's like well known i would want to go to someone who's like you know just a random just stranger a regular person yeah because they they would see the value in my work yeah and if yeah, they actually. have yeah if they had like a friend or someone i don't know nice pictures like oh you know this guy flicker took them for me so get in touch with him the next person they pay 
So that's how I basically structured it. Yeah. And over the years, you know, I'm still learning it from and different angles. It, yeah. <clears throat> and now, you know, now from where from from where I began, you know, I've now got like a proper like clientele base. Yeah. We, you know, there's people who I'm now like talking to. I'm like, okay, you know, what's going on this month? What are we doing this month? And it's okay. We strategize. Ah, okay. Payment this what 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 what. So I I I'd like to you know for most people who are trying to start out, it's it's very possible, especially you know from where we come from. Yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then, in terms of so we've talked about you know like the the business side of things. Mm. Uh, the the way in which you want to tell your stories and stuff like that mm. um do you have like creative influences that you sometimes like not necessarily like turn to but that uh have just like exposed you to things where you're like damn this has been like so pivotal in my career thus far i would say if, if okay you know how most people tell you uh this person what what, what? yeah I I would be lying because if you ask me that question tomorrow, I'll change the people. The people. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Fair enough. I think I take I take interest in what I'm seeing on a day to day basis, and then it sticks with me. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yesterday, I'm not sure if you watched um, Kanye's documentary, the 30 minute yet. one that came I, out. I I downloaded it. Is it last week? No, it came out yesterday. I think. No, what's the name? Uh. Last something, I think. Yeah, yeah, last something. I downloaded it, but I'm yet to watch it. So, so for for example, for him, like I'm, I'm always following Kanye and whatnot. Yeah. Aside from his craziness, yeah, yeah. he's a genius. Man. He's a like, genius. We can't deny yeah, him that. Yeah, We can't deny him. It's that. a. He's in a weird place right now, man. Mm-hmm. I hope he finds some comfort. Nah, but he is a genius. Definitely, he, he is, is a genius. genius. But you know, it's like with his last. Uh, uh, runway, the Balenciaga runway, where yeah. you know there was just like mud and whatnot, and he comes. Oh, out they wearing, did that. Yeah, <laughs> I saw out, that on Twitter. Yeah, comes out wearing this big, you know, jacket yeah. and whatnot. <laughs> I was like, yo, like, I like this. You know, I wanna. This is speaking yeah, to me. Yeah, I wanna, you know, like shoot something like that, and it's just like it's an idea. And I'm just like, okay, if a big fashion designer or whatever comes up to me. Like yo, I've got to shoot. I wanna do. What can we do? That that's, that, that's an idea. We like yo, yeah. let's get mad. <laughs> water, water, whatever. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So my ideas come from, well, my my influence comes yeah. from every little thing I see. You know, cause I, you know, twenty four seven we're on we're on our devices. Just being exposed you know, to just so many things. Looking through, looking through, and yeah. I always tell people, I'm like. You know, just don't take your device for a fool. In fact, man. Don't take it for a fool. <laughs> this, this little thing is powerful. It's so the thing take... we were talking about just before we started. Like, yeah. we're shooting this right now on mobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm just like, wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's more than enough. Yeah. It's more than enough so to tell So basically, that's, that's, that's what I can actually say about, about my influence. Your influences. Mm. Yeah, that's dope. I, I hear that. I hear that. And then... So now let's talk about, and, and this is like extremely exciting to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the moment you, and I actually, I think I need to say this because um, it's a small world. The moment you introduced yourself when we met last week and yeah. you told me, you're like, I'm working on this. I was like, man, I'm, I've been looking for you, bro. I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked. I've been looking for you because, um, so how it happened is after I interviewed Kuda, you're uh-huh. like, uh, I've got this thing that I'm working on that might interest you. It's a skateboarding documentary. Mm. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, of course, man. What you mean? It might interest me. Of course I need to be like, <laughs> I need to meet the guy behind this. And so, Project Kickflip. What is that? Man, what, what I can tell you yeah. about it, Google leading into it, yeah. that's my origin story. For real? That is my origin story. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> how 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 the how it started and all. Um so basically, you know, I work I worked in the T V industry for just roughly under a year. Yeah. Not too long. Yeah. And you know, I saw it wasn't for me. 
<laughs> or because right. you know, number one, I got exploited for my yeah. talent. And what, just, what do you mean? Like they were taking too much and giving very little back. So basically, the guy I was working for, you know, we had we had a team, yeah. a very nice team. Yeah. You know, that even some of the people when I left, I'm still good with them till today, except for the guy. (laughs) (laughs) And I got got exposed to a lot because I initially came in um, wanting to take pictures. But he basically opened my mind and said, no, like, you can do other things. Do more. You can do more. And I I literally only, only started filming last year. Yeah. Like taking videos last year. Yeah. Editing and all of that, learn to because I'm a quick learner, you know. Yeah. If I want to learn something, sit down, give me time, and I catch on. Yeah. So, got exposed, you know, like to 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 a lot of things, you know, quite you know big NGOs, CEOs, what 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 what, you know, because we're filming quite a lot of things. Yeah. But what I will tell you is the TV industry is um yeah need to get rid of of a lot of these dinosaurs. Yeah. We need to get rid. <laughs> I hear that of a lot. All. <laughs> because he, you, you know when someone tells you like no look like if you want to do anything the resources are here do it yeah. I would put up something and then it would get bashed and then wouldn't do it at all yeah. and then you know obviously stay in Zoom issues of like money getting paid what what I'm just like all you know that. what <laughs> and, and on top of that they're stifling the creativity as well exactly <laughs> and it was it was holding me back because Last year, I wasn't really doing much shoots, right? I never really got to do shoots that I like. If I, let's like say there's a weekend, and stuff like that. you know, I'm like, yo, what's up? Let's do a shoot. You know, I never did. It was usually just if someone wanted to shoot, they wanted to pay me. Or, you know, that's what I was doing. Yeah. And I then took, you know, you, you, your patience is just... Tested. Yeah, it's tested and then just through the roof. I was ah, like, right. yeah. so, so you're saying essentially you're in this place and you can't execute the ideas that you have there. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you also can't shoot. So you're not really like growing on both ends as, as you'd like to see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hear And that. in my, in my head, that. going in, I was like, okay, I've got my photography side of things. I'm learning this new thing. Yeah. The resources are there. Let me yeah. try implement. I don't have to worry about what money, I've got, equipment. You know? <laughs> And when I say I didn't need to worry about equipment, I didn't need to worry about it, you know. But what I can say, you know, aside from how it ended, it ended in a very bitter yeah. way. Yeah. What I will say is I was grateful for the skills that I learned. Yeah, I hear You that. know, because I, I never, before that, if you asked me, you filming, I was like, yo. That's the thing you're I, talking about, like, I'm a photographer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do that. But now, yeah. you know, I take videos, you know, I work on, like, you know the whole sound thing yeah. lighting you know small things small things that i've now that implemented out. you know i've worked with different types of cameras you know like my favorite camera being like the drone yeah like i love really? drones i never knew like i used to <laughs> like like seeing people fly but the fact that now i can fly a drone know how to shoot it yeah. use it and all it's just, it's just so nice mm. and i decided to you know to just leave all of that to now focus on my own thing this coming year and and that was like uh going into this year yeah right? going into this year 2020 2022 yeah. <clears throat> you know i probably sat down i was like okay i've got photography let me what well, you know i can't just be out here just saying no i'm a photographer but i'm not really doing much with it yeah. you know so i decided no i'm doing it full time focusing on that even if it means I'm gonna sit at home, <laughs> I'm going to still do it. Yeah. Some some way, some somehow I wanna make it I'm happen. It. Yeah. And I did that. And then I just decided, no, let me do a like a project type thing, you know, like a documentary. And I yeah. spoke to my my boy uh, Sage, uh, Sage the philosopher. He's 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 a good friend of mine. Yeah. You know, he's helped me with a lot of stuff. Like I'd say some of the stuff last year, you know, from interfunction. Babwe, yeah. uh, you know, he's he's been there he's been helping like me out. And I was like, dude, why don't we do this thing? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. So how did the idea for it to be about, uh, the documentary to be about skateboarding come about? So <laughs> I wanted to do something different. I knew I wanted to do a docu- documentary, but yeah. I don't know what. And a lot of people were like, okay, gender-based violence, 
um, like, yeah. you know, the Zoom that's economy. Like the or, no, that's like I was the just like, look, <laughs> that's been done. <laughs> I used to do these things, you know, I literally went to the deepest <laughs> bush and filmed all of these that you're talking about. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Plus, these are topics that are if they're not covered by us in here, someone from the outside is coming it's, it's to cover trying. it. Yeah, you know, let's talk. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's not. Yeah, it's, but someone is. Someone is already doing, doing something. It's work being done. Yeah, yeah. it's so, work that has been done and continues to get done. Mm. So I then thought about it. I was like, I just came across Skate Zimbabwe this mm. one time on Instagram. I'm like, oh, like they actually have these. And then I think it then stem back. I'm like, wait, but I saw Corrupt doing something, you know, with skaters and whatnot on the one of their campaigns. Yeah. I was like, I wanna, I wanna do something involved with this. So I did my research. And then I found out there's a, there's you know, like there's a whole skating organization, like a board. <laughs> <laughs> there's a board of. I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this is, is interesting. <laughs> uh, tried to get the necessary details, you yeah. know, but. It just wasn't happening so uh, i then did more re- i was like okay you know what let me type out maybe you know these are people who respond to emails um typed out my nice email and it basically you know when uh virgil Abloh died yeah yeah uh, he's also another person who like i looked up to in terms influence. of like influence and all of that before he died he comes from ghana yeah <clears throat> he built an entire skate park for free oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i saw that with I an saw ngo that. And I think on the opening, you know, they they uh they named it after him. Yeah. And now in Ghana, the skating culture they they've got a skate park. Yeah. If if someone can film hungry children, like ah, you know, these kids are starving. Yeah. And then people are like, right, we've watched. I, I, if someone is like, ah, I've I've watched this. I want to do something about it. Right. Why can't we do something else for a whole other culture? Yeah. And you know, typed out my nice, you know, PDF format file, <laughs> sent it out. Yeah. And I sent it out to everyone. Uh the the crew, camera crew that I wanted. Yeah. Uh the skaters. Yeah. Right. And the brands that I wanted involved. And I got the feedback. And I was very stern with people. I'm like, look guys, there's no money involved in this. You know, I'm doing you a favor. I see the value in you guys. Let's execute this thing. Everyone was on board. Yeah. And yeah, we, I think we, I'm not sure if it's early March. Uh, no, late, late, uh, late February yeah. or early March. That's when we shot Started. the scenes and whatnot. And Yo. ever since, I'm not going to lie to you. This was just something I was just like, yeah. I'm just doing it for fun, but now it, it it it's bigger than that now. In what ways? Please explain that to me. <laughs> so, I I I basically underestimated my potential with this whole thing. You know, you, you know when yeah. you start out something, you, and then later on let's you're like, right, let's see where it goes. <laughs> this was just like, no, we're doing it now, but there's no way we're going all the way. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> we're going yeah. all the way. Uh. Because now that's when it started getting like some attention around like a lot of people where they were like, okay, the skate, we've, we've got skateboarders here. I'm yeah. like, yes, we do. And that's the main reason I decided, no, this thing, I need to you shoot need it. To. Mm. How long did it take you to, uh, from the moment that people say, yeah, let's do this, from that moment to, let's say, you guys say you're finished shooting? Because I know uh, you're still editing it right you're yeah, still like yeah, yeah. working on it putting the final touches and stuff yeah. like that but the shooting process how long does that take so if if planned properly right yeah. like i said you know i worked in tv so basically whatever i learned from there i just applied to here yeah so it was very like i wanted it to be professional so that people could see no like i'm not playing games yeah i'm serious about this yeah i had a whole script lined out and the shooting that we did took about one day. Oh, snap. I estimated it. I was like, guys, we, if we meet up at this time, a couple hours, we're done. And when we did that shoot, my mind, I just had an instant light bulb. I was just like, why why stop there? Because this initial was supposed to be something short. Yeah. Like 10 minutes or less. But I was like, nah, let's, 
there's something here there's something there's something <laughs> worth doing here and the script the script evolved it evolved. I don't want to give out too much because yeah, you know, know. but because <laughs> I also yeah. like, want to watch it with with surprise as mm. well and just like but <laughs> it evolved in a way where I was like, okay, I I I have something here. Yeah. And with it with it evolving, it gained uh, some attention from uh, this other organization in Canada called Love Caravan. Yeah. Um, they're an NGO-based uh, organization that they mainly involve, they bring together like young people and old people together. Oh, okay. So it can be, you know, old people telling their tales, young people telling, you know, their own experiences or whatnot. Yeah. And they hosted this other com- competition called uh, uh, Caravan of Talents. It's the first one they ever hosted. Yeah. So I got an email. And you know how you get those spam emails on it. This one didn't go to my spam. <laughs> I'm just thinking, yeah, it's those ones where they like, no, if you, you follow me, <laughs> pay me, what, what, what. Yeah, like we'll give you ooh, yeah. congratulations, but enter your details. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I read my emails, you know. I might sound boring and stuff, but I do read my emails. Yeah. If it's important, I'll yeah. respond back. And I responded back. Then they found me on Instagram, funny enough. And I think they've been following me for a while now. I just didn't notice it. Yeah. And I followed them back. And they were like, no, like, you know, if you win this thing, you know, there's going to be prizes, what, 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 what. Yeah. I'm just thinking, okay. Let's let me, see. <laughs> let me bring what I'm doing into this. But I was now thinking, I'm like, okay, only if this thing is legit. If it's not legit, you then... You don't waste my time. You don't waste my time. <laughs> But it was it started getting legit by you know they sent me the application form, I f- filled it out, signed it, scanned it, sent it over. Oh okay, you have three months to submit. The earlier you submit, we post on YouTube. We uh, the more likes you have, and views. Ah, oh, the likes and whatnot. Yeah. And then okay. also added points where if there was like, if we got maybe some sekuru to start skating, added points. Ah, oh, okay. You know. Okay, I hear that. Ah, that bond between like old and young. Yeah. Yeah, and I got interviewed for it, but um, they were posting interviews, but mine didn't get posted. A few people's interviews didn't get, but I think they were just wanting to get to know other people. Yeah. And I basically um, was talking to the one lady, and I like... I like the narrative she had. Like she was very open-minded because I was expecting, you know, I know it's in Canada and I know Canada is next to America, but I was yeah. expecting. Oh, so bro, you're in Africa. How many lions do you own? You know, I was expecting stuff yeah, like typical that. Typical stuff. Where but you know, I was telling her about my experiences here, and I didn't bash them. I did not bash them yeah. because I'm like, no, like you can't. I, I, I can obviously say, nah, you know, it's, we're struggling here. No matter. You know, there's no sheets this side. <laughs> Yeah. Make me give give me the price. Yeah. You're doing yeah. a lot, yeah. but I don't want to be yeah. that own. You feel me? Yeah. So I just told her how it is. You know, I was like, look, things are bad here, but there's a brighter side to every, every everything is good and bad. Facts. You that's, know? that's so true. And she was just like, oh, you know, I expected uh, your answer. I expected you to answer. You know, the same way because there was another Zim guy. He was based in the UK. I think he was playing what's called Dambira. I think I saw him on their profile. Yeah, yeah. and mm. apparently he bashed Zim. Mm. Like he said some very like, yeah, that's where I lived. <laughs> I'm here in the UK. What, 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 what. Not me. To each his own. Yeah, like people have different experiences. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I submitted. I submitted my like a short trade. So I wasn't exactly finished editing. Yeah. So I just threw literally like. When they were like, you know, your application's been submitted. We're waiting for you to submit your video. Mm. I was just, I just threw together something quick, quick. You know, just to meet graphics weren't even man. mine. I just downloaded <laughs> some way off the web. Yeah. Just put together something. What, 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 music. Even the sound, the sound is terrible on that thing. <laughs> but it, I don't it, like it. To, it just had to go out. But some way, somehow, they liked it. I came in third. Mm. You mm. know, mm. If, if you saw some of the people that were posting, like, you know, people dancing, people acting. Yeah, yeah I was, actually did check out the one page. guy, like, yeah. you know, I lost all hope because at some point, like, I was leading up in the likes and the views. This guy is playing the piano, you know, he's, like, feeling himself. I'm like, damn, who's Beethoven or something? <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But yeah. and he had like he had like lots of views and likes, you know. Yeah. I'm just like, oh yeah, there's no chance. It's late. It's but nice. <laughs> some way so I beat him. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah, that was quite the inspiration, you know, that I was just like, nah, like this this thing has to be perfect. It has to it went from being something, you know, like ah, I guess passion project. <laughs> yeah. To actually gaining something out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Project Kick, that's why I say it's my origin story. I hear that, I hear that. <laughs> and and fair enough, man. <laughs> and so you make this thing. Mm. Um, you finish the shooting. You're still editing it, as as it says. Um, the premiere is coming up, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah on the on up. the 29th. Mm-hmm. We're shooting it uh, today. Is what the 11th? Yeah, today's the 11th. <laughs> you still have some time, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the thing I was going to ask is. Um, what are you expecting from that you know when it uh comes out um like what do you hope it achieves as a project so the impact so like i said you know i'm not trying to be just seen as a photographer yeah and you know with the skill you know gaining skills is nice and all but yeah you know i want that I, I want titles now i want okay he's a photographer videographer director creative yeah. director you know I, I want i want it all yeah, yeah so i, I just that. want people to see me in a different light and also it's not just me who obviously you know i birthed this idea you know i implemented everything but the important message was for certain people to come together yeah. you know because i mean if you know when you watch it I think you saw on the, like the poster, you saw you saw yeah. corrupt Mbabu, yeah. interfunction. Sid, is it Sid or DID? I oh, DID, I yeah, DID, DID Productions, yeah, yeah, yeah I saw yeah, a yeah. bunch of yeah, a yeah. bunch of. Posters. I mean, where you know where have you heard where so many people have come together to create something? It's, yeah. a, it's a rare. Yeah, it's rare. It's obviously yeah. one or two people. A lot of people. egos tend to get in the way. Yeah. It's just it's just but generally just yeah. for people. I'm trying to, to I'm together. trying to break that stigma where we. We be, yeah, I'm tr- trying to break that stigma where we just come together, we create things, yeah. you know, because, and also I have these type of conversations because, you know, I always ask people, I'm like, why, why, why is it in South Africa, uh, we can see Hollywood going to SA yeah. to, you know, to do movies and stuff. Yeah. Why can't they come to Zim? Ask yourself that question. Most people all know, it's, you know, it relates to, you know, obviously politics you know the certain policies. If we had these, if we go to government and we're like, no, can we this have these poli- policies? Of, yeah. I'm telling you, bro, these guys, will, these, these guys will come here. <laughs> yeah. You will see, you will see Zimbabwe in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. So it, it's up to us to break the stigma, come together, and we work together on something. You know, even these clothing brands. I'm like, why, why? Obviously, you know, I know a lot of people. Um, like nah, you know, corrupt is the cool and whatnot. And I've gotten that question so many times yeah. where they're like, "Yo, which one is your favorite?" Yeah, I'm just like, "Yo, um, I actually don't have a favorite." Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I like I like them all. I support them all. They're all doing their own thing, right? Exactly. It's not like it's not life or death where like yeah. one has to exist yeah. and and everyone else like perishes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you can see. If you can see Supreme working with Nike, yeah, yeah. why can't it be our corrupt uh, interfunction, Babwe, sold dreams? Yeah, all you know, of that. They're having some streetwear collection coming out. Yeah. You know, that's something big. So I just, I, I just hope for people, they, you know, they see it in that light from my perspective. And yeah. also, you know, they're like, ah, it gives them in- inspiration, you know. Yeah, that go out and, and do that it. yeah that you know there's other things happening in Zim, you know that we need we need to actually talk about. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I love that you say that because that's that's my thing. Mm. That's my thing. In that look, man. Um, I've heard about the politics. I've heard about the economy. I've heard about that since I was maybe like six. <laughs> And you let's, see, let's let's have a different story now. Exactly, and you like, see, it's just it's it's always excuses yeah. that we hear. That's always ah, 
can't do this, there's no money. Uh, I'm just like, dude, <laughs> okay, you can complain. I'm not saying it's not fair on you, but like, what are you going to after, do you know? about it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do about it? The fact, man. You, you, just... have, you have to start somewhere in order to see change. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's how it's things just... work. As, as much as we hold uh, politicians accountable, um, because, yeah, on, on their part as well, like, those are fair complaints, right? A lot mm. of things are broken here. But we also hold, we, ha- we also have to, like, hold ourselves accountable as well, because, yeah. It's... And that's my thing. Like, <laughs> we have a lot of dinosaurs in these industries of ours. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, they don't understand what Never will. the potential, you know, <laughs> the youth have. Never uh, will. It can even be in the smallest thing. Right, like I don't know if you heard about that this project that's happening in Saudi Arabia, where they're building that city where it's gonna be like in some glass panel and whatnot. No, I haven't heard about that. Bro, that it's like the, uh, yo, <laughs> it's the matter that that's the future, I think. <laughs> but look, look at that. That didn't come from some guy who's you know seventy years yeah, just yeah. doing the just same need, thing every day. You need a combination of both, like experience mm. and young people mm. to then push progressiveness, it, isn't it? It, like, it, it's a, it, it it was an idea of what people coming together. Yeah. You know, you have the engineer saying, okay, what if we do this? Yeah. You know, you have the painter saying, okay, what if we paint the houses this kind and whatnot, yeah. you know? I definitely need to check that out. So, nah, that's just, it's actually a very like, <laughs> lit project and it's happening. <laughs> so, you, those are the things that really like push and, and, and motivate me. So, seeing the stuff that you're doing and just because, like I said, the moment you introduced yourself, I was just like so excited. And I was like, man, let's get and, this and that's what, done. And that's, that, that's what shocked me. You were like, you know, I've been looking for you, dude. <laughs> you like, oh. <laughs> That's my thing, man. I'm just looking for for different stories, and, mm. and and yours fits that bill. So maybe as we as we round off, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna ask you two things: one as the pho- photographer, and then one as you know the creative lead behind Project Kickflip. Mm. Um, in photography, within the context we are in, you know, what are the challenges you're facing in in that domain? I think I have I have the idea of how I want to do it. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, the most basic one is capital, you need capital yeah. to, to, you know, to do these to get things. get things done. Yeah. And the other challenge I'm facing is, um, I don't think people naturally understand the type of, in, like, they don't understand photography, you know, to some random person, you can, you know, you tell them a, the price that you charge and then they're yeah. like, ah, just for pictures. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah. I've got a phone. <laughs> yeah. I've got a phone. I can do it right there yeah. and then. But. They don't understand the work that go- goes into it, you know, yeah. because it's me, you know, coming from point A to B, yeah. you know, it's shooting, yeah. there's research, there's before. the editing, you know, <laughs> and it, it also gets complicated when someone wants to shoot and then they're asking you location, the idea, you know, I, it's just, and I'm not going to lie to you, in the first world, people charge for these things, yeah. Right? I yeah. could be charging there, but I'm just like, you know what, this said, ah, they, they won't fork out a yet, cent. We're not there yet. Mm-hmm. And yeah. There's, yeah, there's just a lot of things people don't understand. And I also think photographers are not appreciated enough. Yeah. Maybe, maybe before we, we go to that, like, mm. how, do we, how do we get people, it, and, and you might not have an answer to this, that's perfectly fine. Mm. How do we get uh, people to appreciate uh, that? To actually appreciate your work because this is this is as, as crazy as it sounds this is something i remember vividly hearing from an architect mm. he was like um people think it's just a drawing a floor plan and, mm. and it's just a drawing mm-hmm. it, it can't be worth three five hundred bucks it should be like 50 bucks 20 mm. bucks because it's just a drawing how what what do you think is is like a good way to get people to appreciate the the work I think not 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 just from people's, but also you know if other photographers are gonna watch this. Yeah, I think they should also allow uh, con- constructive criticism on the uh, photographer side. On 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 the photographer side. Yeah, because you know I've been to so many shoots where it's the person, it's the model, whatever, telling me to do what I need to do. I'm like in my head, I'm just like, but, but I know what I need to do. 
Yeah. You know, in the end, you know, you get so frustrated. You say, ah, you know, why don't why don't you just take the picture? Yeah. Then? <laughs> you know. So I feel they need to understand from our side that we are the ones. We 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 know how to do things, right? If there's gonna be a mistake, it can always be corrected. That's yeah. why there's editing. You can correct these things, <laughs> right? And then also photographers should also hear the their subject out. Because maybe you know they 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 they're seeing something different. They want to yeah. try something different, and then also I also you know like I said on social media, you know, it it for me like I'm I'm very like I you know I I like I appreciate the support I have, you know, I'm not saying you must like follow me on Instagram yeah. or whatever, but it takes a long it takes a long way to tell someone that okay no man like you're doing something nice i like yeah it. yeah you know yeah. something small like that something small and basic can go along ah person be like okay i'm doing something good yeah. it continues them so i just think it's a matter of also you know supporting the small i know i know i know there's like bigger guys up there yeah. you know who are like yeah, i even know these you know there's guys out there way even better at me yeah. at what at what at what i do but also supporting you know the upcoming guys as well it needs, to, it needs to be a level playing field because yeah. at the end of the day we are all doing the same thing taking pictures editing and pushing our stuff out there yeah. so I, I just think we need to stop the whole gatekeeping and whatnot because yeah. you know there's guys who come up to me and i'm not i obviously i don't give out a lot of information you know of how i edit on oh, because i mean that's the business yeah. you know if someone someone <laughs> can the out there do it yeah, someone can do it better than me <laughs> that's it flicker photography that's doesn't the, exist that's the that's the crabby patty's recipe exactly <laughs> <laughs> but if someone can be like oh like what camera do i get uh i'm like what do you want to shoot yeah i want to do this okay uh what's your budget looking like yeah okay and, and i put out options I put I, I give someone options, you know. My DMs are always open, you yeah. know, for advice and whatnot. And you know what saddens me is there's people who do you know like amazing little things, right? I'm not saying I can get you to meet Ningi and Ningi, but yeah. I know them, right? Yeah. I can call them. I can you know just have a conversation with them. But if you approach me with an idea and I think ah oh, okay no I remember there's this guy. Let me approach, let me, you know, let's come together, let's do something. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know, I always have my business cards on deck. I'm just like, no, no, it's okay, you know, hit me up. Let's see what we let's can do. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. If not, you know, at the end, if, 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 they don't, if they don't come back to me or whatever, you know, it it's okay. I'm not bitter about <laughs> you it. charge it to the game. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then with Project Kickflip, and this is maybe us rounding off, right? Mm. Um, what were, two things. What were the challenges during, what have been the challenges during this process? Because we're, this is a before a distribution. Mm. I'm sure there's going to be other challenges you meet after you distribute. Mm. But in this period so far, what have been some of the challenges and what have been the joys? Because you talked, I mean, you did touch on, on collaboration, but there might mm. be other things as well. I think the challenge that I had was if it's your idea, and you're bringing in other people, they're also going to have other ideas as well. They like it, <laughs> but they're also... They're going to have their and twist. <laughs> I, I think I'm, I, I, try, I try my best to hear people out. Yeah. Um, and most some ideas were implemented from other people as well. Yeah. You know, just so that to keep things balanced. Yeah. And I made sure, you know, I, I know it's a joke now, but I made sure they were group leaders. Yeah. So I was the group leader for the idea. And the cameraman, uh, there was the group leader for the skaters, yeah. right? The fashion brand guys or whatnot, like, you know, even Rowan. I, I, I know Rowan does his own thing and whatnot, yeah. but um, also I had to stipulate, I'm like, no, like, dude, you know, you're just coming in, you know, for an interview, just providing this for these guys. That's, that, that's your job, you know? Yeah. And I, I think we all, we, we all work together uh, very nicely. Yeah. So, and then the other challenge I had, there were one or two inexperienced guys, you know, but that's the other thing, you know, <clears throat> I'm trying to put people on as well. So, yeah, yeah. it's natural that yeah, someone because, won't because, be like brilliant. Yeah, because if I, if, if, if I can go from taking pictures and do, to doing videos, the next person can, can yeah. you know. And yeah. the, the one guy who was there, his name is Tata. Very like takes nice pictures. We work together on some stuff on interfunction. Yeah. 
he didn't even know the camera he has, you know. Mm. He takes videos, but he didn't know the potential he has, yeah. you know. So it's, it's also breaking, you know, that, breaking that. into that. And, yeah, the other challenge I can say is, yeah, pe- people really need, should, should stop un- underestimating what's in this city, bro. Yeah. You need to stop underestimating, like, I, a lot I of creators. I 100% agree with that. Like, <laughs> like my boy says, right, he's a painter, right? And if you think to yourself, if in the first world, a painter, like someone who makes like reasonable money, bro. Yeah. yeah. But this side, if he oh, paints something, if he it. paints something and he puts a he puts a price on it, someone is like, "Are you mad? I can go get this at the flea market for yeah. like five dollars." <laughs> you know. So I just think people need to stop like seeing a person as like just one thing, and also. Ask them, okay, what else do you do? Because ah, you never, there's, there's so many. I'm not gonna lie to you, Zim, Zim people. Uh, ah, we do, we, we do a lot of yeah, things. More, more. <laughs> AF. <laughs> you can in the morning you can be a CEO, in the evening you can be a photographer. Who knows? <laughs> fact, 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 fact. I love that. Man. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming through, man. This nah, man, appreciate so appreciate it so much, man. It's people like you, you know. We we love to support and definitely you know appreciate you for letting me tell my story. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can do this again. Maybe like five years from now, and it's like, damn, we've gone from that place to something yeah, man. much larger. Man. Definitely, really. man. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Thanks so much, uh, Flicker. And I appreciate it for right.